In the vastness of the Andes, the mountains rise like eternal ramparts, concealing behind their towering peaks countless secrets. For centuries, travelers and storytellers have spoken of forgotten cities, hidden treasures, and mysterious passages carved into the rock. Among these tales, one remains more captivating than all the others, that of a gigantic stone gate, sealed within the mountain, which none has ever been able to find, the legendary gate of Vilcabamba. Could such a gate be technically possible? How might it function? Let's find out. Given its gigantic dimensions, 20 meters high and 10 meters wide, its weight approaches 250 tons. Forcing it open is therefore not an option. However, its location is its greatest protection, perched high where the air is icy and oxygen scarce. Siege engines, slow and unwieldy, would stand out like beacons on the snow-covered slopes, with no shelter from the eyes of any lurking ambushers. In such a place, the only truly effective approach is to unravel its secret. Above the gate lies the unlocking mechanism. The builders wanted the gate to remain operational for as long as possible and based their system on the most reliable force, gravity. This force is invisible, but always there, and when converted into mechanical energy, it can become lethal. There are five symbols, each linked to a button. These buttons are held in place by gravity. When pressed, a spherical stone is set in motion along an inclined plane. When the pressure is released, the ball returns the button to its original position. The challenge is to push the ball with just the right amount of force to trigger the unlocking. If there is too little force, it will never reach its target. If there is too much, it overshoots, preventing the mechanism from working. The system is rudimentary, yet devilishly effective for the person pressing the button has no way of knowing how the internal mechanism functions. Confronted with five buttons, most would simply attempt them all. In reality, only the second and third buttons are required, with the subtlety that one must be pushed firmly and the other gently. Even if someone were to observe the gate opening from a distance, they would never grasp the trick. To add confusion, the fourth button serves no purpose at all. As for the two at either end, they activate a trap. When triggered, it causes a heavy statue to fall, heavy enough for its impact to unleash an avalanche. An onlooker would naturally focus on the statue, never suspecting that the trap works in two stages. For what once seemed to be natural rock relief, suddenly transforms into bars, propelling the intruder into the void and blocking all access to the buttons. But for those who know the code, the gate opens as intended. When the two balls combine their forces, they set in motion other spheres, each rolling away in opposite directions. As they fall, their potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy, which drives a lever and releases a beam. Sliding forward, it pushes a massive stone to each side of the gate. Their weight unlocks the door. The beam continues its path and strikes a vertical support. This shifts the center of gravity of a counterweight. Normally, this counterweight maintains tension without exhausting the ropes, but once the support is removed, it begins to fall. It drags with it the rope attached to the gate. The door opens, yet the ambushes do not end there. Here is a side view of the cordage system. In this first stage, a second rope is tensioned. Another trap awaits anyone who would attempt to enter the city. The ground is made up of pressure plates. Some are fixed to support the structure, while others shift slightly. The mechanism is imperceptible, and yet the slab shifts when one steps upon it. This change of inclination causes stones to tumble along a slope. Whilst the intruder ventures into the cavern, gravity continues to act discreetly upon the sphere. This in turn activates a beam, which releases a huge block. The block crashes down, closing the gate and raising the stone that had allowed its opening. Once it reaches the end of its course, 
it sets another stone rolling into place, locking the door once more. If an intruder has somehow made it inside, they will never be able to escape, for even if they access the mechanism and cut the ropes, the stones are far too heavy to move. When the hidden city was still inhabited, the gate remained open. The fixed slabs allowed passage without activating the trap, while wedges were used to block the moving plates. Thus, the gate of Vilcabamba was not merely a passage, but a riddle of stone and gravity, where every movement was foreseen by its builders. A marvel of ingenuity, it guarded the hidden city with a system at once simple and implacable. Those who knew its secret could enter in safety. For all others, the mountain itself became their tomb. Even today, one cannot help but wonder, does the gate still stand, veiled by centuries of silence, awaiting the hand of one who holds its code? Or has it vanished into legend, leaving behind only whispers carried by the winds of the Andes?